Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee. Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, um, happy birthday and a shout to my brother DJ Clue. Today is Clue's birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Clue. Clue. It's Clue's Capricorn season. For DJ Clue. Every year, me and Clue say we're going to do a birthday party together, and it never happens. If you're into True Blood or things like that, then I would say that Clue is DJ Envy's maker. Um, if Clue was a gremlin, Envy would have popped off uh, a legend named Foxy Brown called Envy, called Envy Little Clue. I ain't mad at Little that. DJ Along with Clue. Little Fish. What do you call them? Little fish? Fishy something. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, Little fish. Clue. I know she said fish ass something. But anyway. You know what, though? I was, I was debating, not debating, but me and somebody was having a conversation about that. And I said that there's nothing wrong with somebody saying your little clue because you are the student uh -huh. who became as big as the teacher. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. I have like, no problem with that. Yeah, you, you, he, I show how much the clue. He, he gave you the game and you carved out your own lane and Absolutely. You know, became DJ Fish. Uh, what were they used to call you? Uh, they used to call me DJ Shrimp. Shrimp. Right? There you DJ go. Shrimp, I know some type of people. It was Shrimp, sir. Yes. I'm envy. DJ now. Red Snap. Yeah, but shout out to Clue, man. Happy birthday to the boy Clue. <laughs> now let's get to the rooms. Let's talk Antonio Brown. He ain't no Brown. boy now. He's 57 years old. Don't call that man no boy. He's not no 57, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shout out to my bro Clue. Call that man a boy. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, would you want to see this fight, Antonio Brown versus Logan Paul? Logan Paul is calling out Antonio Brown, and he said, Antonio Brown, I want to F you up. Wow. He said, I'll drop you faster than the Patriots. And Antonio Brown says, square up. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I subscribe to the Zone app, the Zone app, because I'm a boxing fan. Mm -hmm. I saw Logan Paul fight like maybe a, a month and a half ago on the Zone. The white boy got squabbles. He can fight. I mean, he, he was boxing. Yeah, he does want to do MMA. He's been actually interested in taking more fights in boxing and MMA, and he's been training like crazy ever since. So he's done two fights so far, but people are impressed with his fighting. I'm still betting on black. Well, in this case, brown. But, you know. All right. We now, got it. Black, brown. Tommy brown. Lee from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta has her own show. According to the Jasmine brand, they exclusively have reported that she has gotten it. There's not a lot of details right now, but it's not going to be on VH1 or WeTV. Other outlets have reported that, but she does have a non-scripted show that's going to focus on her personal and professional life. You guys remember that Tommy Lee was up here on The Breakfast Club. And she was basically talking about all the issues she had, you know, having to go to jail after pleading guilty to five charges and the issue with her child abuse case and all of that. So she came up here and explained that all. All right. Now let's talk about Regina King. She has a directorial debut one night in Miami. So congratulations to Regina King. This is her first movie that she's directing. It's a love letter to black manhood that powerfully explores themes of race, identity and friendship. She said each of them have contributed so much to culture and history. We're so excited to have Kingsley, Eli, Aldis and Leslie in the lead roles, showing a different side of these iconic men. So it should be a, a good one to see. It's about an epic night that Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X, Sam Cooke, and Jim Brown partied after Ali beats Sonny Liston. Dope. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely interested in something like that. All right, Lil Wayne, is he getting married? There's some engagement rumors. Now, we know before he was engaged to Dea, but apparently, according to what it looks like on social media, he has a new woman, and she is a plus-size model, Leticia Thomas. So there's been these rumors flying around for months. He's been linked to her for a minute. They've been together. They spent New Year's Eve together with his kids, and so on and so forth. So if you ever vote TV, you can see Leticia for yourself. Lil mm -hmm. Wayne can handle all that? And it looks like she's wearing a ring. You gotta know, call yourself Big Wayne when you're trying to toss that around now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do some push-ups or something. That's not. The, that's that's definitely not the same girl he was with before, right? They look no, it's similar. No, not. I was they look similar. This, yeah, actually, people did do a whole side by side and show they do have similar features. So he has a type. All right, Martin Lawrence. He did an interview with GQ magazine and he talked about the sexual harassment lawsuit that Tisha Campbell filed that made him leave the Martin Show. He said, uh, they asked him, you did the show for five seasons, how come it ended? And he said, well, how can I say this? It was just time to end. Let's just put it that way. It was just at that time there was some things that was being said. And they asked him, you're talking about Tisha Campbell's lawsuit? And he said, yeah. And then GQ said, I saw that you guys have been spending time together recently. Martin Lawrence responded, yeah, because none of that was true. It was a lot of BS. And just whoever said it was, it was BS. They asked, did you guys talk about it? And he said, we don't need to talk about something that just didn't happen. So I just decided to walk away from the show. I just decided to end it. People said that I got canceled, but that wasn't the case. I decided to just leave the show. He then says that he loves um, Tisha Campbell. And he said, I've seen her now, and then and now, now and then, always with nothing but love. I have nothing but love for her, and I always have. Okay. 
All right. Now, Ray Shermer's brother has been arrested for their stepfather's murder. This was a really tragic story. Now, Ray Sherman's stepfather helped raise him since they were young, and there was a shooting in Mississippi, and police say that Ray Sherman's brother is in custody. So it's Sway Lee and Slim Jim's younger, Slim Jimmy's younger half-brother, Michael Sullivan. He's being held for psychiatric evaluation. They said right now at this point, the 19-year-old is a person of interest in the shooting. They said no one else is being sought in connection with that killing at this point. Mm. Condolences yes. to their family. Right. Really a, a sad situation. And Angie Martinez is back on the air. So she's been out for a couple of months after a tragic car accident. She detailed what happened when she came back to her show yesterday. But my car was, um, swer- I was swerving out of the way um, to miss another car. And I flew over a... What? Yes, my car flew over a wall. like a ten- It was like a 10-foot wall. And the car dropped psh, down, straight down. Luckily, I had my seatbelt on. It was the daytime. So the, um, the car was 10 feet in the air. Like Dukes of Hazzard, like in the Get air. Flew down, here. straight down. Yeah. And uh, into some trees. So why did I tell you? It's like a miracle. It's like, yeah. God is amazing. He's amazing. Amen to that. Yeah. So they had to cut the trees to get me out of the car. And, uh, and then I've been for the past two months in recovery, doing physical therapy and yeah. rehab. And What was the hardest part of therapy? It's still hard. What are you talking about? Every day it's harder because that's the thing. It's like you get a little better. So anyway, so to fast forward, I had, a, if you're just joining us, I had a, um, a fractured vertebrae, shattered. The whole vertebrae was like in this one part, L1 shattered. So they had to put something in my back. Uh, drop on the clues, Bonds, for Angie yeah, Martinez. Man, back. I was horrified when I heard about this because at first they didn't know what was going to happen. So I'm really happy that Angie is back at work, that she is okay and just happy to have Angie Martinez. Angie is a queen. I adore that woman. She's a radio legend, and I'm glad that she's still here to tell her story. And I can't wait until some production company turns her book, My Voice, into a movie, because that is the 90s story that needs to be told, damn it. I'm sure she's probably working on it. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Angie Martinez, so good to hear you again and see you again and see that you're in great spirits and that you've taken your time to rehab and slow everything down just to recover. So I'm Angela Yee and that is your Rumor Report. I don't even know why she's rushing back to be honest with you. She wants to come back to She work. wants to come back. She wanted to come back earlier than this. She Absolutely. wanted to come back before break and everything. You get bored was- at home sometimes. You just want to work. You you want to do what you, like your, your job. Who? <laughs> Who? Who gets bored at home? You get bored at home. I love being at home. Yeah, but Angie was doing rehab and everything. Like I'm sure. Let's get back to the people. She wants yeah, to get out the went... house. She wants to see people, see artists, see her and family. She loves what she I would love to appear. know also uh, how similar her and Kevin Hart situations were. Mm-hmm. I wonder if she talked about that that yesterday. All right. Well, you can go and uh, actually watch all of that with Angie Martinez. But um, Angie, what, what are you trying to say? Room? I don't know Daniel. what he's are you doing. You telling me check my phone? Oh, I, I, we don't have to do this. Everybody knows we're on the radio live. If you all this sign language don't here work, waving his arms around. Yeah, like, oh, you no. were about to land. I thought plane. he was doing like this. I'm like, look, now we did. I gave him the fake <laughs> oh, butt yesterday. My goodness. I didn't know what this was. You can't walk all in right. with your thumb going towards your mouth like Chet this. Hanks would say. All right, well, shout to Revolt. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody else, the People's Choice mixes up next. Get your request in. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.